Divorced Redditors. What is the craziest thing you or your former spouse did after divorce? I had forgotten to move the electricity bill over in his name. I moved out. He tried to make me pay for it. Right until I threatened him with paying the bill and asking the power company to shut off the power. It would have cost him three times more to get it turned on again. Idiot. My ex used my card info to pay his electricity bill. Claimed it was a mistake. But then somehow didn't have the money to pay me back that day. I asked how he planned to pay from his account if he didn't have the money. And he said. Sometimes bad things happen to people and it can't be helped. Apostrophe. My ex-wife told me I could leave my stuff in our house while I found somewhere else to stay. I assumed this was a goodwill effort to keep things as amicable as possible between us. When I went to get my shit she had burned it all. So that was rough. If you were legally married, judges tend to take a pretty dim view of that kind of behavior. He did. We owned a home together and he gave me the house. Did you offer to let her leave her stuff in the house until she found somewhere else to stay? That would have been funny, but I didn't say a word to her from start to finish. She tried to argue with me, and I'd just stare at the judge until she shut up. You definitely handled that very well. How my mama raised me. Thank you. She removed the retaining clips for my windshield wipers, but put the wipers back on the arms. First storm after I got my car back from her. Driver side wiper flew off the car on Interstate 40. Good times. Her nickname is now Rainex. Called me on my birthday two years after divorce offering to make it special and was quite insistent that I take her up on that opportunity. Was not amused to find out my GF, now wife, had heard the entire conversation on speaker. Good times. I hope you both had a good laugh at her desperate or after. I had an ex-girlfriend text me once. Asking if I wanted to hook up. When I was in bed with my current wife, but just girlfriend at the time. I was like half asleep, and heard it make the you got a text noise. So I asked my wife, to tell me who it was, and what they wanted. Lol she was initially really upset. But then I told her to scroll up. The ex had propositioned me like that 3 to 4 times, since we had broken up, and she could clearly see I had either said no, or never responded to the other messages. So we just laughed about it. Lol I can imagine you just half asleep saying bro just scroll up. Laundrialist but my favorite was his sister sent a facebook message to all of his contacts the day of our separation, including my family, before we announced anything. Her message stated everyone should immediately delete me, and if I said anything about why we separated I was lying, and not to listen. Basically this created a lot of curious questions and a lot of laughs. Did you ever get her version? And how did it compare to reality? Ah her god I kind of hope no one I knows reads this. Long story short he got in a massive fight with a colleague I was taken to the police station for questioning as I was the only witness to this. Or so I thought that is why I was taken down. Basically the police started questioning me about my own personal safety and they were nervous I was in a abusive relationship 10 minutes and they took out a restraining order on my behalf and didn't even give me a option. He had only been verbally abusive but abusive at that. Three hours of questioning later about our relationship it was horribly traumatic anyway I called his family that night to explain what happened and how it came about. The next morning they all turned on me and his sister sent that. In this case it was basically out of my hands. Edit. There are obviously a few details missing from this but happy to fill in if anyone has specifics that aren't making sense. The main detail missing is what the sister's version was. His sister's version is a good question, because I never spoke to after, but her message was something along the lines of instructing people every mutual friend family member to defriend and block me immediately based on circumstances that she was not able to discuss at the moment. Yes there was a smiley face at the end. Did you find that a lot of people unfriended slash blocked you? None at all. A mix of both. Glad you got out of there. Goddamn madness. Funny question the next day I noticed all of his family had blocked me, but wasn't sure why. Then a friend sent the message to me. Edit, but I had certain cousins of his, and friends that reached out to me. So honestly no not really. She called my company. Talked her way up the chain to the president of the company, still don't know how she managed that. 
that she's smart and told him I was suicidal and had threatened to do something drastic at work. Later I learned that she thought this would be a roundabout way of getting my address which I didn't share with her after I moved out because she's batshit crazy. How did your work handle that? How awkward. Bagels in the break room. Phew. Okay then no harm no foul. This almost called for pizza. My department just had 5 people including myself put in notice over the last few weeks and I kid you not. We just had pizza brought in today. Problem solved. Am I right? Thank you for the laugh. Number 1 complaint at old employer. 10k under median salaries on average solution. Weekly fruit delivery in the lunchroom and monthly espresso cart. Professional field where turnover was higher than McDonald's. I'm sure they are taking tips from MCD and offering people iPhones if they stay a year now. My god. I can't tell you the number of times I wished there was a weekly delivery of fruit at work. That's the dream right there. Slash s. All I wanted was custody of my son. I gave her everything else except one of our cars. She fought me through five hearings. I won. She never came to see him again. Sounds like you and your son got lucky. I hope everything works out for you both. He is liable to read this. He got me into Reddit 10 or more years ago. We have crossed before. Honestly. I'd be lying if I said that I could imagine or comprehend what it would be like to have a mother who just stopped bothering to see their son. Regardless of the situation with the father. It must be terrible, but I hope you and he come out of it stronger. Cheers. We did. I could not have asked for a better son. Or what? If I had an award I'd give it to ya. I'll give mine in your honor bro. After he realized I was never going back. He told his mom that I had been stealing from the family the whole time we were together. Then he literally put it in writing that I had a key to his parents home and would sneak in and take his dad's guns and his grandmother's jewelry. And that he had been powerless to stop me. It was always his druggy sister. Always. Anyone with eyes could see it. But no one in the family wanted to believe it. It's mind boggling how far people will stretch their own reality for plausible deniability for someone they love who is obviously a shit chow. It took a friend of my brother's months to realize his girlfriend at the time was taking random Sparks games of his original Sparks. This was a long, long time ago to sell for drug money. She was trying to convince him maintenance slash supervisory staff at the apartment was doing it. While we were still married, she gets pregnant with the guy she was cheating on me with who is also married to someone else. She has this idea that he's going to leave his wife and they are going to get married. She got a lawyer and filed for divorce. I get a lawyer too. Only thing is that he works for his wife's father who is setting him up to take over when daddy retires. He realized that getting a divorce means his cushy career is over. Confesses everything to his wife and begs for her forgiveness. His wife takes him back and he cuts off my wife. Seeing that her dreams of living with her BF are over, she claims that I'm the father, which is impossible because by that time, we hadn't had sex for more than a year before conception. This does not stop her from telling everyone who will listen that it's my kid. She has her lawyer drop the divorce proceedings. I tell my lawyer to start them with me as the plaintiff and that I want to dispute paternity. I move out. She starts stalking me, shows up at my job and tries to get in. I work as a civilian in R&D at a military base. The MPs do not take any of her shit and wind up detaining her when she tries to run past the gate. She calls me at work to bail her out or something. I tell her that whatever she's done it's not my problem and hang up. I also was able to get a restraining order, which she violated repeatedly. She asked for everything, both cars. The entire house and contents, savings, my retirement account etc. Plus 7 years of spousal support. I offered no support and half of the assets. If she wanted to house, she'd have to buy me out and refinance in her name only. When the kid was born, she tried to put my name on the birth certificate anyway. But I'd already successfully disputed paternity. So that didn't go over well. She had to go after lover boy who was definitely less than happy to see her. In the end, we split the assets 50 over 50, sold the house, and she got no spousal support. I don't know if she was able to get money for the kid from Loverboy or not. She called me a few times after the divorce, 
wanting to get together and talk. The calls were in violation of the restraining order, but I never reported it. About 6 months after the divorce was final, I was offered a new job on the other side of the country. I took it and never told anyone outside of my family where I was going. Almost all of our friends believed her when she claimed the baby was mine and made me out to be the asshole. So I didn't really feel the need to tell them anything. Life is better now. He basically got everything. House. Car. Furniture. I just wanted out. Two years later he is broken homeless. Wanted to get back together. Sorry. But hell no. How do you go from that to nothing? Did he lose his job? I actually don't know what happened to him. Didn't care. This is definitely the way. Called me and pretended he had been hit by a car while we were talking. He even tried to voice the crowd that had gathered around his body. God awful acting. But pretty funny listening to him try to mimic a woman's voice. Points for trying to be inclusive. I guess. I think he was trying to get me to relive my trauma of being on the phone with a friend who actually had been hit by a car while we were talking. Too bad he didn't realize that hearing the real thing is worlds different than hearing a dumbass try to act it out. Edit. I'm so happy that I shared this. Y'all are making me laugh so much. My ex fake jumping from the roof cause I broke up he was dedicated though. He actually dropped his damn phone and then was mad that I didn't fall for it. Neither did he. When I told my ex-husband I wanted a divorce. The next day, after I went to work he packed our entire house into a U-Haul and put it in storage. Even with a court order he refused to give my stuff back. I left my marriage with the clothes on my back. Years later he decided he was above the courts because he got away with that and took our son across country telling me he was moving with one day notice and told me I couldn't do anything about it. Of course I promptly hired a lawyer and we went back to court and he lost joint custody but it took a year of fighting, chasing him down and not seeing my son. There are more stories but those are probably the worst. When I was going through a really bad breakup, dated 6 years, lived together too, my old boss told me a lot about his divorce. They got a house together, furniture, everything. When they got divorced, her idea, she kept custody of the kids. Got the house. Furniture. Dogs. Everything. He told me he walked out with a plastic Safeway bag of clothes. And his Godfather DVD trilogy. Because some things you don't leave behind. I think of him every time I watch it now. Leave the marriage. Take the cannoli. Died of a drug overdose. To be fair. Her drug addiction was the reason for the divorce. So maybe that isn't too crazy. Username checks out. What happened to wife A? Also gone. Wife C. Believe it or not. Still here. But soon gone. Not me but my so. His ex-wife got married a few days after receiving the court's final decision on the annulment of marriage case. In our country. We don't have divorce. Well okay. He has moved on already. Now her new husband plans to have his marriage to her annulled too. What country do you live in? Why don't you have divorce? Not the original commenter. But that country would be the Philippines. There's no divorce. Just annulment and it's due to the Catholic Church. Not me. But my grandparents got divorced when my mom was about 17. In their legal battle. They worked out that they would each get 50 over 50 of the sale of specific shared assets. There was an old junky car and a fairly new RV. My grandpa sold the RV and the car for one dollar each. He handed my grandma a buck in court. Oh. Maybe those Craigslist ads I see are legit then. I know someone who got a teacup chihuahua for just the cost of puppy vaccinations. Because the dude was going through a nasty divorce and didn't want her to get a dime. Since he did all the work and made all the investments. Those puppies would usually sell for one thousand dollar minimum. We remained on good terms and still celebrate holidays and birthdays as a family. His two youngest kids, with his current wife, call me aunt and my youngest calls him uncle. Mad respect. So many people go insane during slash after divorce. It says a lot about you, that you have handled it well, and kept your relationships intact. Thank you. It wasn't easy, by any means. But my own parents went through a bitter divorce when I was a kid, and we swore we'd never do that to our kids, no matter what happened. Wife cheated on me. When I confronted her, she grabbed a kitchen knife and threatened me. 
I told her to go ahead. She put it in my chest just deep enough to draw blood and cut down to my belly button. I hit her on top of her head. She fell to the ground. I left Anne. After signing papers. Never saw her again. It's been 24 years now. Thank you for the awards. Peeps. Had no idea if my idiot marriage at 20 years old would be the topic with the most up votes. Those 12 months are full of good stories. Looking back. What are you going to do? Stab me. Backslash backslash. Stabbing victim. Took the sodas from the fridge as he walked out the door. Dumbfounded. I had an ex-boyfriend go through my apartment and take back every gift he had given me that he could find. Then he went in my bedside table and took the condoms and the vibrator he had given me. So he didn't even want you to go F yourself. Bahahaha. <laughs> That's the best way to put that. If I can't F you neither can you or anyone else takes condoms. He had his law enforcement officer friends run my new boyfriend. One of their wives told me when I called her to offer my support when I heard she and her husband were getting divorced as well. This absolutely terrifies me. After years of telling me she wanted a child. That she wanted to be a mom. That her life's dream was to be a SAHM. She got pregnant with the first guy she slept with while we were getting divorced and put the kid up for adoption even before it was born. This was a long standing thing with her. She always wanted something, car, house, dog, cat, marriage, etc, and the second she got it, she immediately hated it. Sound scary and toxic. Good riddance. Still say that the best thing to come out of that marriage was my dog. She wanted me to get rid of him. I loved the little shit, so I wasn't going to. That kicked off the end of our relationship. During the divorce, but after separating my friend's ex tried to claim less assets than he really had, but she was dropping the kids off one day and found retirement fund statements sitting on the kitchen table. Despite claiming that they had been using his income for living expenses and hers was going into savings. Somehow he managed to tuck away over a million dollars into those two funds. Under his name only. When she brought it up with the lawyer he claimed that had just forgotten to put those on the list. He forgot about a million dollars. Oh man. He just shot himself in the foot because the next words out of her lawyer's mouth should be, if you can forget about a million dollars just how much money do you have? Divorce attorney. Can confirm. 100% getting a forensic accountant. Called me the night before his wedding to his second wife and asked me if it was really over. He said this was the last chance to be together. Are you sure it's over? The night before he got remarried. Let that just marinate a little. I guess he didn't think me asking for the divorce. Paying for it and filing the paperwork wasn't the clue it was over. After I asked for a divorce and moved out. My ex proposed that he come over to my new apartment and we could eat dinner and watch TV just like old times. One of my major gripes had been him taking me for granted. So I just responded with great. What are you cooking? His brain totally shorted out as he realized I was done cooking him dinner and wiping his ass. I looked at the question. Chuckled and thought this ought to be funny with some crazy stories. Nope. Now I just feel sad. Some of this is so upsetting. Mom's friend was getting divorced. Wife was staying in the house. But left so the husband could gather his things. Without her there. As he moved out. While packing. He gave the dog a laxative and locked her in the master bedroom. Poor girl had explosive malamute diarrhea everywhere. She was so upset about her accidents that she tried to dig through the door. That dog was such a good girl. It broke my heart. Luckily, the wife kept the dog and the husband was convicted of animal abuse charges. Which helped the wife keep custody of the kids. My ex-husband messages slash calls me every November. Our divorce was finalized November 2015. Last time I decided not to answer because I'm in a committed relationship. But every year, like clockwork, our divorce was messy to say the least and after our final court hearing we stood outside for like an hour talking about his girlfriend problems. I guess he just needed a friend, but I don't anymore. At least, I don't need him as a friend.